Hello, my name is DC. I'll be giving you match analysis for the match between Zambia versus Kenya in the Kosafa Cup. Let's get into this. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So, as the boys kicked wide here, I mean long, here as the boy is coming, the Zambian defender closest to the ball should have at least kicked the ball for a throw in or either to his goalkeeper, while the defenders next to him which have highlighted in the dotted lines should have run back just in case he loses the ball. Here I could say this is just a silly mistake, he drags his opponent back and it leads to a penalty. Now football is all about battles, no matter how small the battle is it would have a big impact on the game. So this battle that was lost for the ball with this header is what led to the goal. So in football, always win your battles. Here as you can see, he fails to trap the ball. He could have run with it. He pulls him down. He could have actually contained the attacker. But unfortunately, he was not able to do that. Kenya score a wonderful penalty. And that's that. Now here, as the ball is crossed uh, in the corridor of uncertainty, this is the area between the goalkeeper and defender. Here, the Zambian player is actually closer to the ball and the Kenya player is further away but apparently the Zambian player will be second to that ball. I think this is just a lack of awareness from the Zambian player. Here again and here uh, the arrow that I've highlighted on the Zambian player he could have run into this space to at least try to block off the Kenyan's uh, path to go but unfortunately he didn't he just jogged slowly and the, con and the Kenyan continued to go for the ball here as this wonderful throw ball is played played across Unfortunately, the Zambian player was not alert and the ball went in. Now here I would like to highlight a nice play from the Zambians. Here as the Zambian player gets the ball, he threads it through for his teammate, at least into space, which is a, which is a very good idea, a very good attacking phase. Phase, I mean. Here as the ball is, go, is thrown long, a bit of a bad touch, but still manages to get it on his feet. He crosses the ball. Here, I do believe the Zambian player could have either cut it back to his teammates or gone for a diving header. It's not very common we see diving headers with the Zambian team, unfortunately, but he tries to... I don't know, he puts his leg at an awkward angle and unfortunately the, keep, the keeper grabs it from him. Here, from this Kenyan attacking phase of play, the Zambians have left a very big gap and unfortunately, no one will track their runner which will lead to the Kenyan player having a free shot on goal. Luckily, the Zambian keeper was able to save that ball and uh, prevent a goal. So here, there was no one marking him. If you're going to leave space, you have to have runners that will track the ball, no matter how far it goes. Here, one more time. He's just alone, a free header. Maybe the Kenyan could have done better with that. Otherwise, it was a 2 new loss for Zambia. Unfortunately, not much happened. But I will see you in the next video. It's... Oh, sorry. See you in the next one.